Tonight, oh, President yeah, Trump what? revealing what he told Vladimir Putin on the phone. I gave that analogy to Putin yesterday. Comparing the war to a fight among kids. Sometimes you see two young children fighting like crazy. They hate each other and they don't want to be pulled. Sometimes you're better off letting them fight for a while and then pulling them apart. President Trump saying Putin told him he was going to retaliate against Ukraine for its covert drone attack on Russian bombers. Trump saying no he asked Putin not to strike him. Ukraine. I don't like it. I said, don't do it. You shouldn't do it. You should stop it. New images of that drone attack show two valuable Russian spy planes targeted and possibly damaged. The drone bounces off the plane's radar while Russian bombers are on fire. Ukraine says its drones put pressure on Putin to compromise. Ah, this, is, this is the big one. And tonight, NBC News with rare access to Turkish drone manufacturer Baikar that supplies Ukraine. We act on principle. They say drones are changing war, strengthening the underdog. It has given nations uh, an edge that, that they, they would have never have had. Unlike the small drones used in Sunday's operation, Baikar's drones are at the top end of the market. They've just tested a drone in the Black Sea that can launch from a carrier. Their TB2 drone helped Ukraine resist Russia in the early stages of the war. Would you say this drone saved Ukraine? Well, it helped. It gave a lot of hope. And now they are equipping drones and aircraft with another 21st century disruptor, AI. There's technology in this hangar so advanced, they've asked us not to film it, like unmanned fighter jets. Combined with AI, it's an arms race that is just beginning. It took centuries. The company chairman tells me AI will turn warfare into three-dimensional chess. If you can program air combat just like a chess game the machine is going to be far superior but he says his company will not allow artificial intelligence to decide when to shoot after all could ai truly understand the meaning of taking a human life the human should be responsible the operator should always be in charge of the firing uh, decisions all right, Keir Simmons joins us now. Keir, these new technologies are changing war. We see that from your report. And the staggering human cost remains, right? We touched on this yesterday a bit, right? That new report out there that there's been a million Russians either killed or wounded in this war. I know you have some new reporting on that. Yeah, that's right, Tom. I know that number really struck you this week. I think it's going to really uh, stun many of our, our viewers. This is from the Washington-based Center of Strategic and International Studies. To break down that one million number, they say as many as 250,000 Russians are dead. They call it a sign of Putin's blatant disregard uh, for his soldiers. They say Ukraine has sustained nearly 400,000 military casualties with between 60,000 and 100,000 Death. To put that in context, Tom, no Soviet or Russian war since World War II has even come close to Ukraine in terms of the fatality rate. You, you, as you say, Tom, uh, war is changing, but the price of war, it doesn't seem to be.